the biological approach views humans as biological organisms. Biological explanations for example hormones are given for all aspects of psychological functioning. The biological approach attempts to explain behavior as the direct product of interactions within the body. Genes code for characteristics such as eye color but also for the structure of the nervous system and for the functioning of the nervous system. Key terms. Genotype means. The genetic makeup of an individual which is passed on from generation to generation. For example, someone may have a dominant brown eyes allele and a recessive blue eyes allele. Phenotype means. The characteristics that an individual has, as a result of their genotype and forward slash or how it interacts with the environment. For example, someone may have brown eyes. They may carry the allele for blue eyes, but this characteristic isn't expressed because it's recessive. Someone may carry cystic fibrosis but not express it. You can determine someone's phenotype from their genotype but you can't determine someone's genotype from their phenotype. Heritable characteristics are transmissible from parent to offspring. Charles Darwin proposed the theory of natural selection. He argued that genetically determined characteristics or behavior that enhances our chances of survival and reproduction will be passed on to the next generation, and become more common in a population whereas traits which do not enhance survival will gradually disappear. Evolutionary psychology is an approach that attempts to explain mental and psychological traits, such as memory and perception, as adaptations which increase our chances of survival. An example of behavior of evolutionary explanation is Bowlby's theory of attachment. To determine the involvement of genetic factors we use twin studies. We compare the concordance rate, the presence of the same trait in both members of a pair of twins, of monozygotic twins, identical twins who share 100% of their DNA, to the concordance rate of dizygotic twins, twins who share 50% of their genetic material. Evaluation. A strength of the biological approach is its use of scientific methods. In lab experiments, the researchers can control all of the necessary variables. This is better than older, clinical case studies which were difficult to control and prevent researcher bias. The new, experimental methods used, sophisticated imaging and recording techniques, are therefore a strength as they are easier for other researchers to replicate and validate any findings. Another strength of the biological approach to explaining behavior is its application to the treatment of disorders. For example, Patients with OCD tend to have low levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin, so drugs called SSRIs are used to increase the levels of serotonin to reduce symptoms. A criticism of the biological approach is that it is reductionist. This means that complex human behavior is being reduced down to a few factors which are, in this case, genes, neurochemicals and hormones. This is a problem because all other possible factors are ignored, such as cognitive, emotional and cultural factors. These could influence behavior just as much as factors described in the biological approach. Therefore, a more holistic approach is required. A further criticism is that the diathesis stress model may be more useful. This suggests that genes give people a vulnerability to developing a certain characteristic such as schizophrenia, however stressors in life, in the environment, decide whether or not they will become schizophrenic. If all behavior can be determined by your genes then there should be a 100% concordance for conditions like schizophrenia with monozygotic twins who share 100% of their DNA, but there is rarely 100% concordance rates for things like mental disorders.